Christine is starting to sink in. If you might have been awakened by the storms last night, they were pretty intense. Yeah. Sometimes. When I went to make coffee this morning, Chris, all we had left was decaf. We were out. Oh, Sarah, this is yeah. a travesty. Yeah. So I'm waiting for seven. We have we have a lot of caffeine in the middle of the office. <laughs> you know what? We could have helped you out with this. <laughs> we got some help if you need it. Yeah. I can help you out on that. And you know what's funny? I had one parent uh, tweet me this morning saying, "Storms are rolling through now. Just enjoying that cup of coffee, hoping to get a couple more sips in before the storms wake the kids up." And it's <laughs> wake a lot of us up and check out some of the rain totals new bedford east freetown close to an inch of rain much of this falling in under an hour so when you catch an inch of rain in like a half an hour you're bound to get some street flooding we saw that down through new bedford it's still an ongoing issue for portions of the cape and the islands um stretching back into buzzards bay uh the potential for some ponding on the roads as some of these downpours come on through although the heaviest of the rain now pushing offshore on buzzards bay but a thunderstorm here in chatham some of these stretching all the way back through barnstable hyannis over to Falmouth. You get into the Boston area, just a couple of sprinkles and some lighter showers up 93 and 95. So we've lost a lot of the intense storms that we had earlier this morning, but still quite a bit of lightning from Long Island and back through Block Island and over the Cape right now with the number of strikes, about 842 of them over the last 15 minutes alone. So these storms packed a punch in terms of lighting up the sky and shaking the house with thunder. Not needed for an early wake-up call for a lot of us, 3, 4, 5 o'clock this morning. As Unless you're a video, you're putting on YouTube. Right now in the mid-60s, so it's mild out. It's also muggy out. Dew points low to mid-60s, so the storm's fueling off some of this warmth and humidity that we had overnight. However, the trend is to lose that humidity, so we haven't had much humidity in place the last week or so, and the stint of humidity does not last all that long as it's out of here by this afternoon with the dropping dew point levels. And it will be a warm afternoon. Temperatures mid to upper 80s, a bit of a breeze, so a comfortably warm afternoon at that. A little bit of instability and cold air aloft rotating on through tomorrow, so I can't rule out a spot shower right around midday, thinking much of the day is dry, and then a good chance of shower sliding in with this wave of low pressure on Thursday. You get beyond Thursday, and the forecast looks great Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. So looking forward to a long weekend. We have the weather for you. 84 to one or two times may close in on 90 degrees. I think 86 to 88, a common range this afternoon. You take a look at the 7 on 7 forecast. Coolest day with those showers on Thursday. You break out of it. Enjoyable day Friday, Saturday. A little bit of heat and humidity building in Sunday and Monday, but sunshine dominates over cloud cover, guys. All right.